welcome to this week's edition of NCDOT Now. I'm Steve Abbott. It's getting cooler out and daytime hours are growing shorter. That means it's time to start looking out for deer along the state's roadways. In 2016, North Carolina saw nearly 18,000 animal-related crashes, most of which involved deer. That brings the total over the past three years to nearly 54,000 collisions, killing 14 people, injuring over 3,000, and causing $136 million in property damage. For the 14th year in a row, Wake County led the state in the number of animal vehicle crashes with 730, followed by Pitt County with 550 and Guilford County, which had 549 crashes. Counties in the western part of the state have fewer drivers and roads, meaning less animal crashes. Graham County had just eight, while Swain County had 10. To keep you and your family safe this fall, remember to slow down in posted deer crossing areas and heavily wooded areas, especially during the late afternoon or early evening. Don't swerve to avoid a collision with a deer. This could cause you to lose control or veer into oncoming traffic. And deer often travel in groups, so assume if one crosses the road in front of you, there may be others following. For more safety tips, visit ncdot.gov. A special ceremony was recently held in Maxton to dedicate a portion of NC-71 after the late Jimmy Goines, who was killed in a car crash in 2015. Goines was an Army veteran and chairman of the Lumbee Tribe of North Carolina from 2004 until 2010. He was praised for helping revitalize the culture and quality of life for the tribe. Joined by more than 100 people, Goines' wife Diane and loved ones unveiled the Jimmy Goines Highway sign during the ceremony, while Grady Hunt, the first Lumbee to serve on the North Carolina Board of Transportation, emceed the event. While Teen Driver Safety Week is wrapping up, any time during the year is a good time to remind teenage drivers the best way to stay safe behind the wheel is by always wearing a seatbelt, don't drink and drive, and don't use a cell phone, especially for texting. That's all for this week's edition of NCDOT Now. As always, you can stay connected to us on Facebook and Twitter at NCDOT. You can also follow us on Snapchat and Instagram at NCDOTcom. From all of us at the North Carolina Department of Transportation, safe travels.